Hey, so before this video begins, I'd like to say thank you so, so much for over a thousand subscribers. It's kind of scary to be honest, which is why this is like the third, sorry, the fourth attempt I've been trying to make out of voiceover for this video. Last week, like just one week ago, we were at 650 subscribers, which is like crazy to me, but I was so excited for 700 coming like soon-ish, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I hope you stick around for this sketchbook adventure over here. Uh, I don't know how long this sketchbook is going to take, but yeah, it should be fun. Anyways, with all that being said, I guess we could start today's video. So this is probably not a typical kind of starting my sketchbook video because I basically skipped the first page. And as of right now, when I'm recording, I did not design the cover. So I don't know if that changes. Maybe I do design the cover before posting. Basically, I was just scared to do anything to this sketchbook other than sketch on the third page to get used to the paper and then make an illustration on the second page. So I hope you enjoy watching the speed paint as I ramble over it, I guess. I won't be giving any opinions on the paper just yet. All I can say is that it's really exciting for me because my previous sketchbook, which I uh, just did a tour for, uh, had pretty like rough textured paper and so did like all my sketchbooks before that one. So having extremely smooth paper is definitely, definitely a shock for me. I think I will be able to finish the sketchbook pretty quick just because of the smoothness of the paper because the smoothness allows me to do like colored pencil stuff and like leave it there and have fun inking. Inking is so much quicker with smooth paper. I was, I was kind of shocked. So one of the goals for my new sketchbook was to basically practice character design and not focus too much on having original characters. Just like designing for the sake of designing and coming up with random concepts, random sceneries and that sort of thing. So that's what this illustration is. I had a lot of fun making this illustration, especially since a lot of the inspiration for it came from my stories on Instagram. I was going through kind of like a creative burnout. So basically on my stories, I asked for some prompts to try and get myself inspired again. And so many people gave like amazing ideas. I wasn't able to include them all, but basically one of them was um, a sunflower. And another one was to have a lot of plants. Uh, a third one was to have some like atmospheric lighting. I don't think I quite got the lighting right. I also made a couple like inking mistakes. Uh, some of the inking mistakes I fixed with gouache. I don't think I filmed it. I just I just fixed it with gouache uh, for hijab specifically. And the other inking mistakes or like just colors being a little too muddy, I fixed on Procreate. I'm still getting used to this paper. So watercolors are a little bit weird on it compared to my old sketchbook, but I'm getting used to it. So yeah, those were a couple of the prompts. Um, and, uh, oh, another prompt, which has to be my favorite, was for there to be a frog in a waistcoat and a top hat. And I believe they called they called that character Posh Frogo, which I honestly love. That's like hilarious. I definitely want to draw Posh Frogo some more, like way more often, because it's such a cute design, but I didn't draw his like legs yet. But as I mentioned a little earlier, the lighting kind of failed because um, I wanted it to be super cool with like the window casting shadows and light on the floor. But it honestly just looked like it, it honestly just looks like a checkered floor to me right now. So maybe I've been staring at it too long or maybe that's the case. I don't know. Anyways, that's all I have to ramble about for this painting. I hope you enjoy the rest of the speed paint and I'll probably be back in a week or two weeks. That's usually the range that I post in. Having a strict schedule, posting schedule is like, it's cool, but I'm totally not able to do it now that the semester has started. 
So instead, I just have like the one week to two week range. And thankfully, now that we have community posts uh, soon-ish, they said it usually takes like a week or two to finally get them. But now that we have community posts or are going to have them, uh, I could like update when a video is coming out. I won't spam on community posts, but I could definitely give little updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.